this one is from a fellow YouTuber. You probably watched some of his videos. His nickname is Frucht Pudding, if I pronounce that right. I believe that's German for fruit pudding. As I said, you probably watched some of his videos. And if you haven't, feel free to check it out. Now, I'm not sure. He never said that he is actually selling them, so I'm not entirely sure. He said that he successfully managed to breed the the spiny assassin guys or bugs, whatever you like it, the Psitala Horida, and that he would like to send me some of them. Now that was before I received that shipment with three of these, I mean two because one was dead. So now I actually have two of these, but he wanted to send me anyway. And since I'm not entirely sure if he's selling them or not, I will just in case leave his mail in the description so you can contact him and ask him if he's selling. Maybe I had to ask him that first. I guess no harm will be done, right? What is this? Hmm, this is not a Psitala Horida. Definitely not, this is some tarantula and the label says Ibiapora diversipes. I didn't expect that. And here are the... Whoa! I should turn on this camera so you can see. Look! Spiny assassin guys! Many spiny assassin guys! He said that he will send me like 10, but here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One looks dead, or that is a molt, I'm not sure. 14 or 15. <laughs> cool. And an actual tarantula. I believe those were avicularias. And then in the revision they were put in a separate genus, Ibirapora. Not entirely sure if I remember that correctly. I even did a video on that. My brain doesn't remember stuff very well. This was really unexpected. Thanks man. I really appreciate this and this spiny assassin guys. Now I need to find some enclosures for these guys. This will be for the tarantula. Hmm, catch up. I wasn't prepared for tarantula. She is bolty. Not only bolty, in thread posture. Oh, come on. You are like avicularia. You should be calm and gentle. I have a solution for that. The foolproof technique. No. Just go in the cup and stay there. Just go in the cup. Go in the cup. Yeah, that's the cup and just stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Good. Ta-da! So easy. There we go. Tarantula has been safely transferred. There it is. It got nice stripe on its abdomen. You see how fast it is? Now to find some enclosure for, for spiny assassin bugs. I need to go to my basement. Now, unfortunately, I don't have anything appropriate even in my basement where I have all the boxes and stuff. So tomorrow I will go to the store and get some plastic enclosure. So time jump, three, two, one, and we're back. Now I actually had this enclosure. Oof. There is still plastic on it from making holes. So yeah, this is the same one that I use for the two others that I have. These little guys will be just fine. I would prefer more arboreal setup for them, but since there are cork barks inside, 
that leaves them plenty space for climbing. And once they are a bit bigger, I will put them together with these two adults in some big enclosure. I mean, bigger, arboreal one. That will be really fun to feed. But before I make the enclosure and transfer them, there is something really exciting happening today in Tarantula Hobby, especially for you that are fans of, of Petsoterias. You probably heard about Miguel Migale or however his nickname is pronounced but that is the guy that makes awesome and I really mean awesome macro tarantula photos you probably saw some posters that he made or just some random picture from him on tarantula forums today new poster from him is being released and that is one one really awesome poster I mean I will put you the picture just look at it it contains all tarantula species that are available in hobby and this poster is just Amazing. So on one place you can see all the Petzalteria species, males and females. I mean, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Just look at it how awesome it is. And the amount of detail that is available on photos, it's just amazing. I mean, he sent me a picture when you can see exactly how much details there are on that poster. I mean, look, you can, you can see every hair, everything. He needs to take a bunch of photos of each species, then combine them together to form one tarantula and then combine everything together to make that one huge, huge poster. In few weeks I will receive the poster and I will make a review video of it, but I already know that it is top quality and if you are a fan of Petzalterias, you just need to have it. It is available on Arechno Gear website, there you can find some other posters that are also made by him, so go ahead and check it out. And also in the description you will find the link, from that link you can download special wallpaper, it is not the original poster of course, but it is a picture with Petzalteria and it spells Petzalteria with a bunch of different carapace. Just check it out, it's really cool. Now speaking of cool things, I have something else cool. If you are following me on the Instagram, you probably saw this. I have mushrooms in the Hilobrahis Vietnam Blue enclosure. Bright yellow mushrooms. Hilarious. Hilarious. I hope that they aren't poisonous. This is the first time that I see mushrooms in my enclosures. And also, that is not everything cool. I have something else to show you. Look, behold, my wood. I have a lot of wood. I bought it the other day and it will be for my future projects. I mean, check how awesome, how awesome this is. Look. It is all cord bark. Oops. And it is one of the best things that you can put in your enclosure. The best thing about cord bark is it doesn't rot, so if you put it in the enclosure, even in high humidity enclosure, it won't rot. It will stay like this forever, probably. I bought this from my friend, and if you live in this area, I will put the, his, his email in the description, so you can get them for yourself. Just try to picture all the projects that I can do with this. <gasps> Crazy! Let's go back. <laughs> Let's finally set the enclosure for the bad boys. Don't need this. So I just I just have some cocoa fiber. And yes, if you don't live in this area, but you still need cocoa fiber, there are links in the description so you can order them from Amazon. Also the cocoa fiber if you need it. All affiliated links, so enjoy. Slightly moist cocoa fiber. One cork bark and few other cork barks. There we go. Now the actual, oh, I don't have a poking stick. Poking stick, poking stick. There they go. Come on, you really don't want to go there, right? Go, 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 go. 
go on the call back. Okay, four left. Let's go, let's go. And the last one. The last, but definitely not the least. So is that it? There is a bunch of cockroaches hiding inside. Let's try and get those roaches out. <laughs> they're fighting and once again we have a stolen cockroach they are too slow This one got it also. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that would be it regarding those spiny assassin guys. Before we end this episode, let me just show you the Ibirapora Diversipes. In last two days, Ibirapora Diversipes made a web. She made the web tunnel. When I rehouse the Avicularia versicolor, now ex Avicularia, now Caribena versicolor, she actually took a long time to make a web, like a month or maybe. And this little guy or girl, only two days. Sweet. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, thumbs it up and comment something. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. If you want to be extra support, you can join the Patreon. I upload every Monday and Friday, so. See you again soon and go check the posters. Bye bye. <laughs>